Hello, in this video we're going to cover the UI checkbox for COCOS 2DX C++. This assumes you've set up your project and actually have a project so you can use UI if you haven't or you need to do that then there will be a video linked in the description so check that out. So with the UI checkbox there are five images that it takes. It it takes a checkbox normal image for path basically what you're seeing without doing anything checkbox normal pressed image for path obviously when it's just pressed a checkbox active image for path so i pressed it let go it's now active checkbox normal disabled image for path and a checkbox active disabled image for path so if you just set it to disabled depending on what the user is doing so what we're going to do is go down here and do UI colon colon checkbox. Actually, just forgot to mention I've got some checkbox assets right here. So obviously, just get your own. And I got I actually got these from the Coca Studio examples. But obviously, you'll just use whatever you need for your game. So just name me whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it checkbox equals to UI colon colon checkbox colon colon create and these are the five parameters that I was talking about so the first one is just the normal image and for this I'm gonna put rev for slash check box assets for slash check underscore box underscore normal dot png I wonder what happens if I just drag this on like so yeah that will be quicker just have to delete part of it okay so I'm gonna do that for the next one just to save some time so I need the normal selected one so quotation inside there I want this one right here need to get rid of this okay the next one is basically once it's been selected so active get rid of this again for background disabled so this is just a normal one once it's been disabled just need to get rid of the excess and then finally it's just the active disabled so active disabled right here let's get rid of some of this rubbish semicolon and what I'm going to do is just do checkbox set position and the reason I'm setting the position because otherwise you'll be in the bottom left and there'll be some of it you won't be able to see due to the anchor point being at 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 so I'm just going to do vec to colon colon sorry vector and in here I'm just gonna put two three hundred and four hundred I'm gonna do this add child check box semicolon and now if we run this in our simulator we should get a checkbox okay so there we go we've got a checkbox right there so if I press it as you can see it changes to the normal pressed image file path if I click it it now changes to the active image file path and I can switch between them if you want to disable it you'll have to actually set it via checkbox set and you'll have to actually do that and that's actually an extra task for you I want you to just figure that out it's not too difficult okay at the moment that's great it works in terms of visual but it doesn't actually do anything there's no functionality and we, we need that so to do some functionality we need to add a callback method so what we're going to do is just copy and paste the includes and the using namespace into the header file and remember like I said in this setting up video everywhere that you use anything to do with UI you're going to need basically these and the using namespace so this is what we're doing so void selected event you can name this method whatever you want so just bear that in mind so ref 
asterisk sender, UI, colon, colon, checkbox, colon, colon, event type. And now what we're going to do is just copy this, paste it down here to hello world colon colon and now in here what we're going to do is just set up the methods of switch the switch is on the type and there are two different types for a checkbox there's do case UI colon colon checkbox colon colon event type colon colon selected so once it's been selected break I'm simply gonna do a log so log checkbox has been selected save some time let's copy and paste this unselected your checkbox has been unselected it's a face and finally just do a default and break right there so we've got this method set up at the moment actually let me run this and show you what happens so just let this bad boy run okay so we've got the console right here I'm clicking the button nothing's happening and the reason is like I said this method you can name whoever you want and at the moment this method has no connection with our checkbox we need to actually add an event listener so do checkbox add event listener in here we're going to do cc underscore callback to hello world colon colon selected event and for the target we're going to put this semicolon and now if we run this what will happen is these events will be called so we'll get two logs depending on what the state is so let's just click it there you go checkbox has been selected checkbox has been unselected selected unselected so if I click it and just drag away so basically the event has been cancelled nothing prints out because the state didn't change and that's the same if it's selected as you can see so that's it for checkbox in cocos 2dx c++ ui if you have any question feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php there'll be a link in the description to that so you don't need to remember it there'll also be links for everything else that you need Please rate and subscribe as it does really help keep this content free. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.